Hello, welcome back to yet another episode. Today's video is just a continuation of our previous video on setting up Git environment for our project. Every time we make a change to our project locally, we have to open Git Bash and type some commands. But everybody may not be familiar or comfortable with using commands to sync our projects with a remote directory. So today we can get familiar with a GUI tool to do all those things. I am going to talk about source tree. We can use source tree to connect our local project directory to GitHub or Bitbucket account. Since we are using GitHub for storing our code, I am going to explain connecting GitHub account to source tree. So if you are creating projects in your PC and you want to upload all those projects to GitHub, you can follow the steps I have explained in my previous video. And if you want to access all those files using source tree, you can continue watching this video. So with all blabbering much, let's dive. SourceTree is a free client software for Git and Mercurial version control systems. It is developed by Atlassian and it is completely free. So we can go to this website and let's download that. It is available for Windows and Mac but not for Linux. I have downloaded that so now let's install that. If you have a Bitbucket account you can go sign in using that. But right now we don't need that so I am skipping this. Mercurial is a tool like git but we are not using that so we can uncheck this uh, option. Click next. Next we have to fill the developer's name and email address. Since we already added these details globally when we set up our git environment, source tree automatically collected these details. So we don't need to change this. Now we can click next. Do you have an SSH key? No, I don't have. Actually, this is the authentication method. We haven't created that yet. So we can click no here. Okay, now we have completed the installation process. So this is the source tree window. In top, you can see uh, local and remote. In local tab, we can locate the Git projects in our local machine. In the remote tab, we can see projects in our GitHub account. For that, we have to add our GitHub account here. I can show you that. Click on remote and uh, click here on add an account. We have a GitHub account so under hosting service we can select GitHub. The protocol you can select either HTTPS or SSH. I am still confused on it. Uh, somebody says SSH is more secure but uh, Git accepts HTTPS due to its easiness over SSH. However, I am using SSH here. Authentication you can select uh, OAuth here. Now click on uh, refresh OAuth token. This will load the GitHub page asking for permission for source tree. Uh, for that, we can sign into our GitHub account first. Source tree is asking access for all these activities. We can allow them all by clicking here. Coming back to the source tree window, uh, we can see authorization OK message here. Now we have connected our GitHub account to source tree. We can click on the refresh button here to see all the repositories in remote. Now if you want to download any of our repositories into our PC, normally we won't be doing that but still if such a situation comes, uh, for example for this repository, you can click on this uh, clone button. Yeah, now we are in clone tab. Already we have discussed about local and remote tab, now we came to this third tab. Here we can download uh, not only our own repositories but also any of the other git repository into our local machine. In the second field, we can select the local path where we want to download the repository. Oh, we got a problem here. Source tree is not able to get the repository. We can solve that. So go to tools. Under SSH client, we can select the open SSH. Yeah, now we can repeat loading the repo. Yes, now it has been detected. By clicking on the clone button, we will get a downloaded uh, copy of the repository in our PC. Okay, cloning is completed. Uh, project will appear in source tree as shown here. We can see all the version history here. Anyway, we will see how to handle all these things in uh, future sessions. And also in my local path, we can see this project being downloaded. Okay, next we are uh, talking about the one we need most. In our last session, we have already converted our workspace into a Git repository. And we have synced that directory with github.com repository for the remote repository. So if we create some changes in our local files, we have to push those changes to remote as we see in our last video. For doing that, we have used git bash window and we encountered some weird issues. 
but those are not permanent those who like to go with the command line interface i would recommend to go with that and the others can use source tree so firstly we have to add our local repo into source tree for that go to add tab on top and click on the browse button to locate our local repo so this is our local repo you can see here uh, source tree automatically decades this as a git repository otherwise we cannot proceed using this repo next you have to click on the add button so our directory has been added to source tree now you can see our repo name on the top now we can do all the git operations like git add git commit and git push from this window i will explain all those things in coming sessions there is one more tab left in the source tree window go here and click on the plus icon and at last you can see this create tab this is used for creating a new git repository mostly we don't use this but still if anybody wants to create a new git repo in this first field you have to put a local path where you want to create your project it should be empty first of all and after creating this repo you can copy your files here in uh, second field automatically repository name had come third field is asking git or uh, mercurial we are using git and this uh, checkbox is asking if we need to upload the repo into our github account we can tick this select the uh, account to be stored select uh, the owner actually in source tree more than one github accounts can be imported so that is why this is asking these fields next some description if you want your project private uh, check this option then click on create at last then it will create the repository of course uh, there are no files and uh, we can verify this locally in our pc you can see the hidden dot git folder here so officially it is a git repository so that's it dears uh, many of you might be knowing all these things but since we are going to use this tool i couldn't stop explaining about this now onwards whatever projects we will create i will show you how to upload all those things into github using source tree we can learn uh, both embedded and git together so wait for the next video and we will meet quite soon again bye